again, if you're going to do number four, my recommendation is if you know it's a parabola and you know the features that you're looking for a parabola and you can graph it quickly, please graph it quickly. My intent here is that, you know, basic skills, basically taking values of X and Y that satisfy the equation. It's a relationship, by the way. All right. Now, again, they give me a figure. This is Y squared equals 5X minus 1. Whoops. And let's start plotting points. And what I mean by that, it's the most primitive skill you could possibly possess in graphing a relationship. And for example, I got, I got to be honest with you, if you're p picking a number, you know, I would, I would definitely pick on the Y because it's easier for me to do that. So if I did that, and if I said Y is zero, what would you get? If Y is equal to zero, you would get 5X equals one, which means one fifth. Now, Grant, it's, it's a nasty number, but I hope you realize that it's one-fifth over, so like right over here. All right? That's pretty simple. Now, some of the, what other value would you pick for y? Probably 1 and minus 1. And they're going to do the same thing, by the way. And what would you get over there? And I'll write it down for you. Uh, whether you pick 1 or minus 1, you would get 1 equals 5x minus 1. You know, if you add 2 to both sides, you get 2. This is 5x. And what do you get? You get two-fifths. All right, so, so I'm going to kind of plot that. And yes, you might say, oh, gee, I have a picture. I, yeah, I know what I'm doing. But I still know where the points are. All right, so what am I saying over here? Well, x is two-fifths, and y would be plus or minus one. So I'm going to say over here, it's about two-fifths, again, along the x-axis, by the way. Then you might say, gee, what's another point you pick? I would say 2 and minus 2. All right, let's put that down for you. Now, whether I pick 2 or minus 2 is really the same story. You're going to get 4 equals 5x minus 1. Rather simplistic, right? You get 5 equals 5x. So x would equal 1 in both cases. All right? So let's put 1. And what do you get over there? You get 2. Again, you can continue to play this game as long as you like. I hope you realize just looking at it, connecting the dots over here, you get something like this over here. Now, I realize a lot of students that I don't know what comes next, even if I were given a picture over here. I would say pick another value. All right, let me erase this over here. Let me erase this stuff over here as well. Actually, I shouldn't have erased that. It's y squared equals 5x minus 1. I would say pick three. And what would three give you? Nine. And that's 5x minus one. What do you get there? 10 equals 5x, so two. By the way, plus or minus. Same story, because you're squaring it. So what does that mean? When you move over x2, you go up to three, or minus three. I get something like this now. And by the way, you keep going and going and going. For example, let's say I chose, I don't know, plus or minus 4 for y. What would that give you? 16 equals 5x minus 1. And that would be 17 equals 5x. So you get 17 fifths. Now again, kind of a nasty number, but you know, 17 fifths is 3 and 2 fifths. And what's that going to be? Plus or minus 4. I think you're getting an idea. And we're hoping over time you start to realize it's got a very simplistic pattern to it. And this is a parabolic pattern. All right? Now, granted, you may be studying this in your algebra classes where the teachers are doing it differently. They might be getting a focus. They might be getting the vertex, uh, the generalized shape of it, the P, yada, yada, yada. So I'm looking for you to do something real simple, plotting points and looking for a pattern. It's the single most primitive technique to graphing a relationship. What's my name? Ron Bannon. What's my email address? It's Bannon, which is B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Thank you.